Governor Bill Lee's massive spending on K-12 education drawing more questions today from state lawmakers and passionate defense. New at 5, State Capitol reporter Chris Bungard looks at the work that needs to be done to make the proposal a reality. It's becoming clear every day here that all the money proposed this week by Governor Lee for education is full of questions. There are some innovative things here that, that are being discussed in very general terms. When what we need is a record inv investment in classrooms. Somewhere between 400 and 650 million dollars, depending on how you calculate the proposal this week from Governor Bill Lee, makes up what would be a record one-year state investment in education from Tennessee lawmakers. There will be some clunkiness to it. I also think that we're still trying to drill down on what exactly the investment is and where it's going. Two senators from each party symbolize the questions raised in various degrees, beginning with the $250 million endowment to help school kids with mental health issues. The interest off $250 million is what will go to schools. It'll end up being a, you know, around $8, $8 million a year, maybe, in a good year. But if you're just trying to get a counselor in every classroom, you're talking about probably a $75 million hundred million dollar proposition that would be yearly says the Senate Democrat leader but the Senate's Republican finance chair while raising some questions maintain the school mental health endowment is innovative you recognize the need you fund it and then sometimes you have to figure out your way of how you're going to execute the funding that you have and I think that's where we are with this kind of innovative approach as some lawmakers around here have said the fights become bigger when there's more money to spend. Reporting from the state capitol, Chris Bungard. Now questions have also been raised about the teacher pay raise. That's right, you know, many say the proposed $117 million is not enough for every teacher in the state to receive that 4% increase.